What up YouTube? So I got this great Craigslist find um, yesterday. I um, was just browsing and occasionally I'll search for things like skateboards just to see what people post. Sometimes it's just funny to see how much people want for a board that's all like torn up and used or super old. Like sometimes I'll see boards that clearly like the, the wheels have turned yellow even though they haven't been used and they're like, you know, you can tell that the board, board or complete is like 15 years old, but they want like basically the full price they paid for it. Um, and then in another case is somebody's trying to sell like a Walmart board for, you know, the price of almost like a pro complete and you know, the quality obviously isn't there and they have no idea, but occasionally you'll come across a gold mine and that's exactly what I found yesterday. So I found this board listed on Craigslist for 50 bucks. Um, almost brand new, uh, not a Scoopus, um, Santa Monica Airlines old school board. Um, and it's got basically brand new, I think these are 149s, brand new independent trucks, um, acid, uh, Chemical Co. Uh, Jelly Shots wheels. I haven't really, I had to look up the brand for that one because I had never heard of it before. It's got mini logo bearings in there, which are kind of trash, but um, they'll, they'll work. Um, I may just pull them out and save them as a uh, backup. Um, but, uh, and obviously both risers, uh, grip tape that is pristine. Um, and really just like there's a little bit of rust around the bolt so it seems like somebody may have skated this either they spilled some water on it or, or skated it um with like wet shoes but it is basically a perfect board um and i'm psyched that you know honestly like i i was just i i could have i'm just psyched that i got the um the trucks and and wheels um the deck itself is a bonus and i don't probably won't even skate the the board i'm actually thinking of getting some paint out um touching up the the board and sanding down some of the scratches and then just like doing something from a display perspective with it because i i really have no use for a, a completely flat old school board so basically i'm really psyched on this and i'm just gonna take it for a spin um probably push down to the store get a coffee and see how i like it so general first impressions of the board um super smooth not super surprised i mean these are 159 millimeter soft wheels. Um, I will say it's strange to stand on a board that has no concave. Um, and, and it's just, to me, it's kind of crazy that these were the boards that people skated in, you know, as, as like going back to like, I think, 1990 1991 something like that i don't know when the first concave boards where it started coming out but the shape isn't the hard part it's just like the, the lack of concave makes you feel like you're going to just slip right off of it one of my favorite skateboarders is ray barbie and uh this morning i was actually watching uh, one of his old pal parts, I think I was banned this. Um, not sure, I have to double check on it. But it just amazes me seeing him skate boards like this. And he's doing like no complies, ollieing up and stalling on like foot and a half tall walls and stuff like that. And the tricks themselves are, you know, stuff that somebody who's been skating for like a year or two could probably do, but <laughs> The crazy thing is he's doing it on like a 10 inch board with big wheels that's totally flat. And I just, um, my mind's blown. Just got some coffee, some cold brew. Um, it's gonna be a hot one today and I don't need to warm up any further. Yeah. Beautiful day. It's finally like the humidity's going down here in the Midwest. 
Indianapolis, Indiana. And that's great news for a guy like me who sweats like a hog and is super uncomfortable in any kind of like humidity. Love it. So I would have to say, on a morning like this, good vibes. <laughs>